Hi, everyone. Welcome to Honest Technologies. My name is Ryan. I'm here with our IT technician, Hunter Ford. How are you doing, Hunter? I'm doing well. Good. Thanks for being here with us. Today, we're going to talk about Google Apps or G Suite for business. Uh, we'll start off with Hunter just describing uh, what the platform is and just a general overview of the G Suite and Google Apps. Yep. So G Suite, it's a business solution for, I'd say, small to medium-sized businesses for the most part, but it can be implemented for large businesses. Uh, it can, it'll contain your company's email, your file storage or uh, web-based backups, cloud storage. Uh, you could share files through it. It has a lot of functionality uh, for being a completely web-based program. Uh, yep, so you get your word processor, your spreadsheets, your presentations, PowerPoints. Yep. But it's all uh, based on your web browser. There's no separate apps that you install like Office. Correct. Correct. There is, while, while there isn't any applications like Word or PowerPoint that you would install, Google Apps, uh, the G Suite has a cloud backup solution. Like it is a program you install. It's called Google File Stream. Okay. Uh, and basically how that works is it's very similar to OneDrive and that you install it on your device and it basically makes a seamless uh, connection bet uh, between your local file storage uh, and the cloud storage that you have through G Suite. And what's nice about this is you, the way you can configure it is you can have it so G Suite is, you have your saved copies in the cloud, but it's also saving copies of those locally uh, so that when you make edits, it's making a save. It's saving that to the local files, and then it's saving that to the ones in the cloud. And even if these are edits to, like, let's say PDF files or things that aren't modified by G Suite applications, those changes are still saved to both avenues. So at G Suite, you're going to get um, your Office-like apps, and you're going to get the file stream, which will sync your local files uh, with your um, Google Drive or cloud files. And that functions similarly to Office 365, which we covered in a previous video. And so maybe we wanna talk about um, what the differences are between Google Apps and Office 365. Okay, so the main difference is where Google Apps is comp just about completely web-based. Office 365, um, it has web-based applications that you can use. But with each Office 365 uh, license, that also gives you five installations of Office. So that's your Outlook, your Word, your Excel, your PowerPoint, Access, all those programs. Uh, so I guess the real key difference is just one is completely cloud-based and one is a mixture. Yep. Uh, and you have to kind of consider if your company's used to the web-based apps or if they're more familiar with Office having dedicated apps locally installed. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of the main differences. We tend to think that the G Suite apps run smoother in the cloud since they were built natively for that purpose, whereas the Office ones started off for years and years as the dedicated local apps, and now they're kind of porting them into the cloud versions. Mm -hmm. So and that's the user user familiarity thing, really. Yeah, that's something I've noticed as well with just uh, kind of interacting with, with both. We have clients that have G Suite, that have Office 365. We even have some clients that have G Suite, but then they still have uh, Office licensing. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes they even just have a single Office 365 license to get access to those five installations. Uh, some companies, it's mo mostly due to uh, sometimes there's software requirements that require Office applications. Yep. Uh, Just because they are, they've been so ubiquitous for so long that people have developed their software to run with it. Yeah, Whereas they've the just ones are newer. Office applications have just been the standard for Office work for so long. It's why so many companies well, probably medium to large size companies sometimes require like Microsoft testing and stuff uh, to get certain positions because they want to make sure you're familiar with the applications that they are they have already implemented. Yep, but 
I think we've found with newer companies, companies with like digital native teams, you know, who are used to the cloud base, they um, are used to the Google apps through college and things like that, that um, they might, pref they're okay with the cloud apps. Mm -hmm. I would say uh, companies that deal with a lot of use of the internet and m a little bit more, sure. uh, it's most of the time what you'll see is companies that are very set in their ways or like older companies. I'd say Microsoft Office 365 is probably the better uh, application suite for them because it's what they've used forever. Whereas for a newer company or a company that's m operating mostly through the internet or through marketing or something like that, like where sure. it's, you don't need a, there's less of a need for that, uh, those built-in applications or those installed applications, I guess, yep. because a lot of their work has already brought them, they're a little bit more, they're a little bit of a stronger user. They're a power user. They know right. how they can get by a little bit more uh, on their own. Sure. And uh, we just wanted to mention that if you are um, involved with a nonprofit organization, that both of these platforms offer free or you know heavily discounted versions of both of these. Um, so definitely check that out. So that's kind of our comparison between the G Suite, Google Apps, and Office 365. So really the main consideration is um, finding out what your team and organization is familiar with. If they're more, if they're comfortable with the cloud apps, um, we think that works really well. That's what uh, we use a lot here. But if you find out that they're more familiar with the dedicated local apps, then Office 365 is a good option. You can watch our video for a more detailed breakdown on that. And if you have any more questions about either of these things, feel free to reach out, tech support at onthistech.com. Hunter, thanks a lot for doing our video today. Of course, thank you as well. All right, uh, keep watching. We'll be back next week. Thanks.